Something a little bit weird is going on with the latest Sims 4 expansion pack release. Lovestruck hasn't really been getting as much hype as previous Sims 4 expansion packs. Not just amongst the Sims community, even the Sim gurus themselves, as they call themselves on Twitter, haven't really been speaking up about the pack or anything. Usually they answer people's questions on Twitter. Usually they get involved, but they haven't. Although that could simply be because Twitter is full of sexually fresh frustrated incels who are angry at everybody so why would you want to communicate with these kinds of people? I mean I don't. Although it could also indicate that it doesn't feel as much as a passion project, you never know. Also there isn't really that much love struck content out right now on social media. A lot of those in the EA Crate network, the ones that get it super super early, aren't posting as many videos as creators normally would. There's literally barely any and the ones that I've I've seen they seem to be completing this pack very quickly like I'm really worried myself because I normally make like a 10 to 15 episode long let's play every time a new expansion pack comes out and I don't think I'll be able to make just one episode not even one so based on that it seems like there's not really that much content there I mean I said even before we got the first trailer this is gonna feel like a game pack I said this even before the first trailer I said this is a game pack and everyone said such being a miserable Karen again and I was right here I just feel like the hype for this game is dying down very, very weirdly and it's making me wonder, why is this pack already flopping? Interest in it doesn't really seem as high as other packs and I think it's really interesting to explore it. The first reason being, as I mentioned, I think it feels like a game pack with the lack of content available. Perhaps people just don't see its value. Another reason could be it just doesn't really feel like what an expansion should be. When I think of an expansion, usually it's like a whole set that makes sense. Like the world, the build mode, the cast, the gameplay, it usually all fits well together and makes sense. A good example of that would be maybe the island living pack where everything that comes in that pack makes sense and works well together. When you think of Love Struck, you're not really getting this whole package. In my personal opinion, they should have made a French inspired world because that's stereotypical the city of love so I feel like they made a big mistake there and I think that contributes to the pack feeling disjointed but I think it's really difficult for EA to justify this really being an expansion pack and I definitely think that's what's holding it back a lot. In order to really sell something as an expansion pack you actually have to give your consumers value. I feel like I'm some kind of like unpaid business advisor for EA at this point. <laughs> But when you think about it, okay, city living gives us a huge city, city world with apartments, which a lot of simmers have loved ever since The Sims 2. Island living gives us a beachy world and mermaids, which is something that simmers are guaranteed to want and love. Get to work gives life careers, and that's something that was very successful and popular in The Sims 3, so naturally they bought it in The Sims 4 and people liked it. Simmers want pets, so they give us the cats and dogs pack. Simmers wanted farm animals, so they gave us the quiet living pack. A lot of the packs that they've done in the past seem to have made sense for what the players wanted but I feel like Love Struck isn't one of those things where it's like the players really wanted it. For me I would say Love Struck is very very niche and doesn't deserve to be an expansion pack. If it was a game pack literally without the world, you know like how the parenthood game pack didn't come with the world but it came with a lot of like family gameplay so it was fine. If they did that but with Love Struck for example I feel like it would have made a lot more sense because we definitely didn't need all of this build stuff with it. We didn't really need the world with it. It's not like they added any new community lot types or anything. The world doesn't need to exist. If it just came as a game pack, it came with a couple of brand new day outfits, the heart shaped hot tub, the vibrating heart beds, plus, plus a tiny, like tiny little amount of build stuff and just had the gameplay with that, it would have been perfect. But I think the fact that they've made this an expansion pack because they think simmers will just buy it anyway is probably what's leading to its downfall. This obviously 
isn't new. They've been doing this ever since growing together, really, uh, selling a game pack's worth content in an expansion pack. I mean, growing together, granted, I don't think it was that simplified, but definitely from Horse Ranch, at least, it was very game packy and it's just gotten worse and worse. And a part of me thinks they probably should have known better because there have been so many things that Sims have been asking for for ages. And for a while, the Sims team were giving in to what the players wanted. So players wanted like a generations family pack for The Sims 4, so they gave us the Growing Together pack. Players said they wanted horses, so they gave us Horse Ranch. For Rent was a little bit like, like, what is this? We don't understand it. And it came out and it was like, okay for build mode, but the gameplay wasn't really there. And then Love Struck was just like totally random. I personally feel like instead of this pack, they should have just done a hotel management pack. I feel like, I just personally feel like that would have gone down so much better. Simmers have also been asking for fairies, although in literally like the past, I'm sure like the past five packs and kits, there have been references to fairies in all of them. Like I think fairies are coming. I genuinely, I think they're coming now. I didn't think they were coming before because I thought it would be too ambitious for them to do, but it seems like it is coming now. They probably won't end up being as good as the fairies mod that exists, but it looks like they are coming. I was thinking for about 10 seconds then, should I make a, a coming joke, but I won't make a coming joke. <laughs> Apparently there's also a little bit of controversy with EA paying off people in the creator network. Like, I don't really know what that's about. I don't really care if they are being paid, like good for them. It's literally, if you're a social media content creator, it's literally your job to do brand deals. To say a content creator is bad for being paid by EA to do Sims 4 pack videos is like saying a plumber is bad for fixing leaky pipes. Like it's literally a part of our job. Like it's not that deep. But if people are reacting to that, that could also maybe put off certain EA creators for uploading content. You never know. Not that I think it should, like it's completely ridiculous, but that could impact it. I think there's so many things that could impact it, but fundamentally, I feel like Lovestruck is one of those really weird packs, like Spa Day, for example. Like you look at Spa Day, you think like, what, like, what is the point in this existing? And I feel like it's the same vibe that Lovestruck gives off. It's like, that kind of like what actually is this vibe kind of like with the get together pack as well I remember when that was first announced everyone was like like what actually is this <laughs> even now I don't think people really get what it actually is I feel like there's only so much they can do anymore and I feel like their business model has changed over the past couple years at least I forgot the correct term is it called the whale model the majority of people who play the sims for don't invest all their money in it, but there's a small proportion of people who will purchase every single pack. Even if they think it's crap, they will still buy it. It's like, you know, with mobile app games, like those free app games, like you don't spend money on it, but there's this like maybe 5% of people who play these games that are so addicted to them that they put, like spend like so much money on it and it makes up for all these people who don't spend any money. I feel like that's kind of what they're doing with The Sims 4. This is just speculation, like I'm just talking shite, but to release an expansion pack that such low quality like that. It definitely feels to me like they are doing this whale model thing of just like, we put something at the highest price point and then the people who will buy it anyway will just buy it because they always have done, always will do. And then it doesn't matter about the people who won't buy it because they wouldn't have bought it anyway. Like, I, I feel like maybe that potentially why they've kind of given up on this game. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many like, I just like, it's there's just like this weird feeling where it's like, I don't know. Nobody knows why they, they're just not putting effort in their packs anymore. Another theory could be that the game is literally dying. And when I say dying, I don't mean like it's becoming unpopular. I just mean like the actual coding and the platform, like it's going to shit. I already made a video once talking about software rot and how code can like deteriorate over time, especially when a game has been out 10 years, 10 years of early access hell. But then there's also rumours that The Sims 5 has been cancelled because The Sims 4 is doing so well financially. Why risk it? Just carry on doing what you're doing The Sims 4. And we already know that The Sims 4 is still going to get packs running alongside Project Renee. So this is definitely not the last expansion pack. We've definitely got a lot more in store. And it makes me worried about the future of The Sims because if the hype is like dying right now, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. And nobody can deny this. I mean, the official trailer for Love Struck just has over a million
million views. In the past, it seems expansion packs would typically get three to five or so million views, depending on the pack. So you could argue that hype for The Sims 4 is going down just by looking at general interest on this scale, which is obviously unreliable. I definitely think The Sims team need to go back and think what do Simmers actually want other than being able to create your own unique quirky story because this whole Sims 4 slogan of do, do your own thing, Sims are smarter than ever, like that was very 10 years ago. It doesn't like you can't just keep milking this same marketing thing of create your own unique quirky goofy story. I don't think people want to create their own like unique romance story with this pack and I think that was a big mistake for, for me personally in my opinion. As I said I feel like they should have gone down the route for hotels pack because that's what Sims have wanted for ages or a fairies game pack although I wouldn't be surprised if the upcoming fairies pack is going to be an expansion pack. Our first ever occult expansion pack dedicated to just one occult and I'm genuinely like I'm okay I'm going on a bit of a tangent but I genuinely like it wouldn't surprise me if they made it in expansion instead of a game pack because they've, they've literally killed off game packs. I'm going to do a whole video on game pack soon but anyway without going on a tangent too much I'm curious for you guys to let me know what you genuinely think of Love Strike. Like if you like it be honest you don't have to agree with me. Just tell me brutally honestly like what do you think of this pack and will you purchase it regardless of whether you actually like it or not because I know a lot of you guys just buy all the packs so I'm curious to know if you will buy this pack and if you think you will enjoy it or not whether like if you buy it or not like I'm curious so please let me know also let me know why you think it's kind of dying down a little bit with hype compared to other packs if you're interested in my video about the sims 4 deteriorating and literally rotting in terms of the code then you can watch this video here while I explain it all in more detail thank you very much for watching guys I will see you in the next one